Hi, uh, let's discuss this problem Kamilka and the sheep. So you can read the problem statement here. Uh, I'll summarize this. So basically uh, what you are given is a number n uh, which is greater than equals to 2 and less than equals to 100. And then in the next line you are given n integers okay, which lies between uh, 1 and 10 to the power 9 inclusive. So let's discuss this uh, example. Okay, so you are given number n when given number n and then n numbers you have 5 4 3 2 1 okay so what you are what you have to do is you have you can select any two numbers from this okay any two numbers let's say these numbers are x and y and then you have to um, pick a number uh, you have to select a number d like no, any non negative integer d okay and then you have to add to both of them and find gcd of this gcd of x plus dn y plus d and you have to select these uh, x and y and d uh, in such a way that gcd is max you have to find the maximum gcd maximum gcd okay you have to return the maximum gcd so now see here gcd is involved so you should think around gcd how it is how it's being how to calculate gcd so um, the properties around gcd okay so one of the properties like where from where the euclid's algorithm originates is like let's say we have two numbers x and y okay and then let's say um, there is a common uh, let's say there is an integer k which divides x and there's integer k as well uh, which divides y i mean there's integer k which divides x and uh, x and y both okay then we have a property that if k divides x and k divides y, then k divides x and y as well. We are treating x greater than y here. Okay. So if k divides x and k divides y, then k divides x and y as well. Uh, how am I saying that? Like uh, if k divides x, then we can write here as k is equals to n x, right? And sorry. Uh, so if k divides x then we can write x is equals to k n okay and y is equals to um, k m so if i find x minus y then it would be k n minus k m you can take k common and you can see that k divides this thing okay so what this is the value of um, x minus y right so if k divides x and k divides y then k divides x minus y as well so in terms of GCD, uh, we have to find GCD of this. So using this property, I can say that GCD of x comma y is equals to GCD of x comma x minus y, right? Because if k is a common factor to both of them, then k is, must be a common factor to these two as well. Okay. So whatever is the factor of x and common factor of x and y, this must be the common factor of x and x minus y as well. Okay. So GCD of this is equal to GCD of this. So in our problem, I can say that uh, we have two numbers, right? X plus D and Y plus D. So I can say that GCD of these two numbers is equal to GCD of X plus D comma or Y plus D minus X plus D, right? Uh, by simplifying, we get GCD of X plus D and Y plus D is equal to GCD of x plus d and uh, y minus x right we can rewrite this okay so from this we we can have an observation that whatever is the gcd of these two okay the same gcd can never exceed y minus x so let's say uh, the gcd is g can never exceed y minus x because the common factor cannot be greater than uh, an individual number okay this will not just the gcd of these two numbers will not exceed this so gcd is always less than equals to minus x and and what you have uh, and what we have to do is we have to maximize the gcd so the maximum gcd we can obtain is the difference between these two okay so in this example as well what what uh, we have to do is we have to we have to just we have to just uh, like for we have to just make pairs uh, of any two numbers and uh, we have to find the maximum differences okay among all the pairs and that would be our answer okay 
and we can iter we can make pairs because um, see n n never exceeds hundred okay so we can like we can iterate over all of the pairs and we can find the maximum uh, uh, difference okay so if you look at the code then see uh, I'm taking uh, input and then uh, I'm taking input of the vector and then array and then I initialize this variable to find the maximum difference and I'm, I'm iterating over all of the possible pairs and I'm just taking out the difference and taking max of it okay and in the last time returning the maximum difference and that would be uh, the answer okay so that was all uh, if you have any questions you can uh, mention in the comment section thank you